global warming do you know some people in cold regions grow their gardens in a greenhouse a greenhouse is a building made mostly of glass it is a property of glass that it lets the heat of the sun to pass through it but it does not allow the trapped heat to escape the glass roof and the glass walls throw back the heat given off by the heated soil and plants thus they keep the inside of the greenhouse warm even over several sunless days that is why many people in cold countries grow their gardens in a greenhouse the warm atmosphere inside the greenhouse makes the germination of seeds and the growth of plants faster our earth too is like a greenhouse with one difference a greenhouse is encased in glass while the earth is encased in a thin blanket of carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide surrounding the earth serves the same function for the earth as does glass for a greenhouse it helps to keep the earth warm scientists call it the greenhouse effect the amount of carbon dioxide in the air is only 0.03% yet all plant and animal life depends on it the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air is kept almost constant by a series of natural processes we call it the carbon cycle a significant property of carbon dioxide is that like glass it allows more heat to pass into the earth's atmosphere than that allowed to pass out if the amount of carbon dioxide in the air were to double the temperature of the earth would rise by 3 degrees celsius the polar ice caps would start melting and the level of seas would rise many an island would then disappear under the surface of water if the amount of carbon dioxide in the air is dropped the temperature of the earth would fall and the ice caps would expand the level of water in our seas rivers and wells would go down consequently there would be a great shortage of water thus it is very important that the balance of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is not disturbed now let's see what actually happens carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere by two main processes breathing and burning all living things breathe out carbon dioxide into the atmosphere the air breathed in contains only 0.03% carbon dioxide whereas the air breathed out contains 4% thus breathing leads to increasing the amount of carbon dioxide in the air also large quantities of carbon dioxide are produced by the burning of wood coal and oil our automobiles too add a tremendous amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere the main way in which carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere is by photosynthesis it is a process by which green plants with the help of sunlight break up carbon dioxide into carbon and oxygen carbon is retained by the plants as their food oxygen is set free for the use of animals to breathe all animals depend directly or indirectly on plants for their food and all plants in turn depend on carbon dioxide breathed out by animals but now too many of the world's forest have been cut down we don't have enough plants to consume the carbon dioxide that is being constantly added to the atmosphere thus more of it stays in the atmosphere which is very harmful for us similarly the uncontrolled burning of coal wood and other fuels adds to the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere it traps more of the sun's heat and creates a dangerous greenhouse effect the temperature of the earth is rising and endangering the life of all plants and animals this won't go on for too long we shall have to think about it or be prepared to disappear from this earth